Hello students, welcome to Ishwari Taniksha channel. This is your Ishwari ma'am. Students, in this video we are going to see three super tricks for IUPAC nomenclature of cyanide and isocyanide. Students, before seeing the tricks, let us see what is the difference between cyanide and isocyanide. So, cyanide is usually represented in this manner. C, triple bond N. So, this is cyanide. Coming to isocyanide, isocyanide will be represented like this, N, triple bond C. So, this is isocyanide. So, here, uh, suppose if there is a carbon chain. So, I will take a carbon chain. So, this is a carbon chain. So, to this carbon chain, see here, to this carbon, if C triple bond N is connected, so then it will be a cyanide group. Suppose if this is a another example for carbon chain and to this carbon if N triple bond C is connected then it is isocyanide. Can you see the difference here? Carbon of the chain is connected to carbon of the cyanide group and here carbon is connected to nitrogen. So that is the difference between cyanide and isocyanide and students you know that in IUPAC nomenclature usually there will be a root word so there will be a root word that is indicating the number of carbon atom so if one carbon atom is present the root word will be meth you know that correct if two carbon atoms then it is called as eth and after root word we have primary suffix so after root word what we have primary suffix after primary suffix, we have secondary suffix. And here we have prefix. So this is how we name IUPAC nomenclature. So primary suffix will indicate whether single bond is present, double bond is present or triple bond is present. If single bond is present, then primary suffix will be in. If double bond is present, then it will be in. If triple bond is present, then it will be I. So, this is for naming usually any organic compound. So, coming to cyanide and isocyanide, we should know what will be the secondary suffix and what will be the prefix. So, this is what we need to remember for cyanide and isocyanide. So, you can note down here. So, for cyanide, that is C triple bond N. So, for this secondary suffix, secondary suffix will be nitrile or it will be carbonitrile. So, this will be the secondary suffix and coming to prefix, it will be sino. So, this is what you have to make note students here you should know when you are using nitrile and when you should use this carbonitrile so that i will teach you in the trick and this is about the cyanide coming to isocyanide that is n triple bond c for this secondary suffix will be so secondary suffix will be isocyanide and prefix will be isocyano. So it will be isocyano. So this will be the secondary suffix and prefix for cyanide and isocyanide group. So students let us learn the trick now. So what is trick number one? Trick number one is when to use nitrile in secondary suffix. So this is for the cyanide group. So this is for C triple bond N for the cyanide group. So I told you that you can use either see here secondary suffix. You can either use nitrile or carbonitrile. So you should know when to use nitrile and when to use carbonitrile. So that will be the trick number one. That is when to use nitrile in secondary suffix. So, when you should use this, whenever cyanide group is connected to linear carbon chain. 
that is straight chain carbon atom so here you can see cyanide group is attached to methyl group and here cyanide group is attached to ethyl group so both are straight chain carbon atoms so this is one chain carbon chain and this is carbon chain so for a, a straight chain carbon atom if a cyanide group is attached then we will be using nitrile so how to name this here methane methyl group is attached to cyanide group so how you will name is if one carbon atom is present count how many carbon atoms are present so students here you need to count even this carbon of cyanide group 1 2 so you should write ethane don't write ethyl it is ethane and cn is nothing but nitrile nitrile so ethane nitrile will be the iupac nomenclature of this compound so same way how to name this count number of carbon atoms 1 2 3 so 3 means it is propane and cn group is present so it will be nitrile so this is trick number 1 that is when to use nitrile when cyanide group is connected to straight chain carbon atom so linear chain is present that is why we are using here nitrile so coming to trick number 2 when to use carbonitrile in the secondary suffix so when you will use this so note down students when cyanide group is connected to cyclic compound cyclic compound and second is if cyanide group is repeated that is in the compound if more than one cyanide group is present then we use carbonitrile instead of nitrile so let us see the example so here you can see this is the first example so you can see here cyanide group is connected to cyclic compound so how to name this so this will be six carbon atom 1 2 3 4 5 6 so this is cyclohexane cyclohexane and this is carbonitrile carbonitrile so this will be the iupac nomenclature of this compound so this is cyclohexane and this will be carbonitrile so uh, now let us name this one so here you can see two cyanide groups are present so name this number this 1 2 3 so here uh, cyanide groups are attached at position 1 and 3 so first what you should write so this is cyclopentane cyclopentane and at position 1 and 3 cyanide groups are attached 1 comma 3 di carbo nitrile so this is the iupac nomenclature and next third example here you can see again cyanide groups are repeated so that is why we will be naming it as carbo nitrile so here this is the chain what we are selecting so 1 2 3 3 carbon atoms so you will be naming it as propane and at position 1 comma 2 comma 3 you have tri carbo nitrile so this is the iupac nomenclature and fourth example will be this one and students i want you to try this try this yourself so write the uh, find the name for this compound and write in the comment box so we'll see trick number 3 so how do we name isocyanide so can you see here nitrogen is connected to carbon therefore this will be isocyanide and even here you can see nitrogen is connected to carbon chain therefore this will be isocyanide so now one carbon atom is present so you will be naming it as methyl can you see the difference here this is methyl whereas here for uh, isocyanide we are using ethane not ethyl ethane propane so that you should note down so this is methyl isocyanide and this is one carbon two carbon three carbon so three carbon means it is propyl propyl isocyanide 
so this is the iupsc nomenclature of this compound so students so these are the three tricks by which you can name any cyanide and isocyanide iupsc name so students i hope this is very useful to you if you like the video you can uh, share this with your friends and also subscribe the channel i'll meet you in the next video students bye bye